Hi guys, my name is Lydia and welcome to Lily Wings Creative Channel. In today's tutorials, I'm going to be showing on how to draft and cut a princess cut that. I promise you that after watching these tutorials, it will answer all your questions with regards to princess that. Though my method is different from what you used to know, but it is a very sure method. If you're new here, please subscribe to support my channel and also hit the notification bell icon to be notified of my new video. Leave your comment at the comment section. My bust point is 10 and a half. I'll place my tape on the shoulder and I'm marking 10 and a half here. And then my under bust is 14. So I'm marking 14 here. And my half length is 18. So I'm marking 18 here. And I'm going to leave the remaining extra inch. Then I'll, I'll go ahead to connect my lines. I was just going to label it. This is the bust line. Now on the bust line, I'm going to mark five inch. That's because my nipple to nipple measurement is nine and nine divided by two is four and a half. So four and a half plus half inch for seam allowance is five. So I'm marking five all through and I'm going to connect everything together. Now I have connected it. My shoulder measurement is 16. So to 16, I'm 16, I'm dividing it by two, which is eight. So to that eight, I'm adding one inch, which is nine. So I'm marking my nine here. So this mark here, I'm going to bring it down to about, let me see, three inches. That's, this is, this line is um, the boss point line. Let me indicate it to boss. So I'm going to place my tape on this line line and I'm marking out one inch I'll go down to the waistline and I'm also marking out one inch then I'll now go ahead to place my tape on the other side I'll mark out one and a half inch and I'm placing my tape on the waist on the other side and I'm marking out one and a half inch now I'm going to connect these two points like this and I'm also connecting this point to this other point at this point like this I will now connect this one, this point again, and this one like this. And I'm extending it up to this shoulder line here. I'll just stop at two inch here. I will now connect it like this. Now that I'm done connecting this one, I'll come to this point now. I'll also connect it to this line. But this time around, I'm not going to use a straight line, but instead I'm using a curve. Like I want to form a cup for the bust. You down trace it like this. So this is my back. So I'm going to use one inch for my zip allowance. This is one inch. I'm going to mark it and I'm going to rule it. Now that I have drawn my my zip allowance, I'm going to in the front now. I'll place it um, on the zip line. So first, I'm going to make sure that everything is equal. I have cut the excesses now. Let me just extend this line down. First, I'm going to cut this one together with the back. Then this one, I'm going to cut this one separately. I'm going to cut the front separately, leaving the back. So now I'm starting my cutting. So. So after that, I'm going to bring out those two like this so that I don't cut it together with the back. I'll cut it separately. Let me turn it the other side because I'm finding it difficult cutting it that way. So now that I have cut it, I will now go ahead to the machine and join it like this. Each line meeting each line. So I'll just sew it. So this is the back. This is one side of the back and this is the other side of the back. I'm going to draw a shoulder line and now I'm placing my tape on the shoulder line and I'm marking out nine inch. This is first measurement around the back. This is 17 inch. This 17 inch is the half length for the back. It doesn't go beyond 17. 
Some could be 16, 16 and a half, depending on how tall or short the person is. So now I will now divide this span into two, which is around 13. So I'm going to connect lines. So since, since this is my half length for the back, I no longer need this part again. So I'm going to cut it out. What I'm trying to do now is to take a proper dart for the back. So I'm going to place my tape here and measure half an inch here. And I'm putting my tape on the other side too and I'm measuring half an inch. I'm going to bring this one up like this and I'm bringing this one up like this. I have to bring it up like this. And this one I'm bringing it up like this. Up to the bust. This is the bust line. Now that I have done that, I'll just go ahead and then cut out the dart. So I'm going to join this part to this part, like this on the machine. So now I'm done sewing it on the, joining it on the machine. I used a loose stitch so that I can be able to lose it back again when I'm done. So now I'm going to place it like this. And so I'm going to place it like this and start taking my measurement from the waist. My waist is 29, so 29 by 4 is 7.25. So I'm marking 7.25 here, then plus 1.5 inch allowance is uh, 8.75. So for the underbust, my underbust is 31. So 31 by 4 is um, 7.75 plus 1.5 seam allowance. 9.25 for my bust now i'm going to I'm going to expand it like this a little so that I will, I will cover the whole area i'm placing the tape like this to measure the bust so so my bust is um 38 by 4 is nine and a half so nine and a half plus one and a half seam allowance is 11. so i'm marking out 11 here for please forget this point let me strike it so i'm going to now connect this these three lines together so watch me as i connect it this is line one connected line two this is the third the third line can you see that from the underbust to the bust is not straight the bust kind of went in it went in like this and for me this is not okay the bust is supposed to be larger than the underbust and the rest of the measurement but because of this cup here because of this cup here, it became smaller here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, I'm going to add to this measurement to make it straight. So I'm just going to take my line like this and take it straight like this. So whatever is it that I added here, let me check what I added there. I added about three quarter of an inch, 0 0.75 inch. Whatever it is I added on the bust, to, to complete the bust here, I'm going to remove it from the back measurements so that the measurement is the same. I'll then go to the shoulder like this. My shoulder is 16. 16 divided by 2 is um, 8. Then 8 plus half inch for, for sewing the shoulder is 8 and a half. So I'm going to place my tape here and measure like 4 and a half inch here. I measure 4 and a half inch here like this. This is going to be my dance across the chest for the front. I'm going to measure the same four and a half on this front part. I'm going to place my tape on this line, this four and a half line. I'm going to measure out six and a half inch. So this is my six and a half inch, this here. So this is the point where my armhole curves like this. Now I'm going to connect the shoulder and that point and this point. So now I'm going to come here and then curve it here like this. So this is where I can take the measurement for, for the armhole. I can then take the measurement for the armhole like this. So my armhole is supposed to be nine. So this is nine. So by the time I take one and a half inch allowance and sew it up, everything will be nine. I'm going to place my tape on this shoulder line, I'll mark half inch down like this. This upwards line before the shoulder is half inch already. So I'm going to mark out my neck. I'll use three inch for the width of my neck. I'm placing the tape on the shoulder and I'm marking three inch again. 
or I could just mark three and a half inch so that it can be a little lower. And then I will now go ahead to connect it like this. So to this half inch down here, remember, I'm going to connect this one from this neckline to this place. So I'm going to connect it like this. This is in order to slant the shoulder because the shoulder is not always straight. So I'm now cutting. Remember, this one inch is an extra allowance for whatever that comes up next. So I'm going to just use half of it and I'm going to cut it. So this half is the, now the seam allowance. And uh, I'm going to come to this side and I'll mark out, I'll mark out three quarter of an inch like this. I will now connect it like this to form a curved line. The waist is kind of curved, not straight. So I'm going to now cut it out. I'm not going to cut the back part now. I will now measure out my shoulder. My shoulder is 16 plus half inch allowance. So now I'm going to now come down with half an inch here. I'm measuring from the zip line. Even the shoulder I measured from the zip line. So even the neck I'm going to measure from the zip line is three, the width of the neck. I'll place the tape on the shoulder and measure one and a half inch down. Then I'm going to now connect this together with a curve. This is half an inch. I'm now going to connect this to this to slant the shoulder. I will now place my tape at the first shoulder and I will now mark four, just like I did for the other, for the front. So this is also four and a half. So I'm now going to place my tape here Remember the shoulder is 16, so I added half an inch. So in this case now, I'm going to minus half an inch from the shoulder, which is eight. So this is eight, I'm going to connect it like this. And now I'm going to draw it like this. Now I'm going to be inserting the measurement. On the bust line, my measurement, remember for the bust is 38. 38 by four is nine and a half. Nine and a half plus one and a half inch allowance is 11. So this is 11. Remember in the front, I added 0 0.75 inch. That's three quarter of an inch to make the bust go straight. So I'm go I, like I told you earlier, I'm going to remove that three quarter inch from the back. Seven minus three quarter becomes 10.25. So this is it. I have marked my 10.25. So the underbust, the underbust is 31. So 31 by 4 is 7.25 plus 1.5 inch allowance is 8.25. So for the waist now, my waist is 29. So 29 plus 1.5 inch seam allowance, it becomes 8.25. My underbust is 31. So 31 divided by 4 is 7.75, not 7.25, please. I'm going to correct it now. It's now 9.25. I'm done inserting my measurement. So now I'm going to connect those lines. I'm now cutting. For me, I have a deep back. I'm going to trim off quarter of an inch from the waist. So I'm now going to take this line here to meet this post line here. So now I'm going to trim it off. So by the time I'm sewing it, since the, my zip allowance is one inch, I'm going to take in one inch, my zip allowance. I'm, now that I'm done with the back, I'm now going to bring the front and then lay it up like this on the back. Reason is so I will make sure that everything aligns. And then this one, I'm now have to redraw the armhole for the back. So I have to retrace it. But I don't have to go into it like this. I'm going to, from the front armhole, I'm going to bring it out by one inch, like this. So that back armhole doesn't have to go too deep. It's just the front armhole that goes deep. So like this. After tracing the armhole, I'm not going to go ahead to cut it. 
when i'm sewing this i don't have to remeasure anymore on the table so when i'm sewing it i'm just going to use whatsoever allowance i gave it i gave it to sew it i'm not going to se separate this so i'm done separating it this is a back pattern and this is the front pattern check the description box for the sewing video of this outfit if you find this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.